Thursday night football, Seahawks hosting the Niners, and the Niners are three and a half point road favorites. The over-under is at 49 and a half points. The Niners are minus 192 on the money line, and the Seahawks are plus 160. Now these are the pre-kickoff lines. They're going to change the closer we get to kickoff tomorrow. And the Niners signed Matthew Wright as their kicker. So at least now in this game, they do have a kicker and won't have to go for it on 4th and 32. The weather for tomorrow's game is supposed to be 59 degrees, mostly cloudy, 8 mile an hour winds from the north. Head to head, the Niners are 6-4. and four. The Niners are on a 5 game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorite is 6-4 and four against the spread. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. And the favorite has won the last 5 games that they've played against each other on the money line. The over is 5-3-2. and two. However, the under at 49.5 is 7-3. And, and I love division rivalry games because generally the stats pull through when these two teams play each other. The Niners in their last five games, as you can see, they're 2-3. And, and in those, in their last four games, there was a total of 40 points, 51 points, 43 points, 47 points. And if we go back for the entirety of the season, there was... Uh, 51 points in that game, 32 points in a win, 17 points in a loss, 24 points in a loss, 30 points in a win, and then 23 points in a loss in which they had no kicker. For the Seahawks, the embarrassment of losing to the Giants, especially on that blocked field goal, and he lose to my team. Ugh. They are 3-2. 46 points, 43 points, 27 points, 71 points, and then 49 points. 26 points in a win, 23 points in a win, 24 points in a win, 29 points in a loss, and then 20 points in a loss against the Giants. I am going to take the Niners with the money line. I will take the Niners laying the points, and I'm going to go under in this one. Seemingly, when these two teams play each other, these games are under. I'm more so curious to see if Brock Purdy is going to continue to turn the ball over, because that's been uh, interesting, especially with Mason running the ball as well as he has been. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.